Hello. Yes, I do actually reappear once in a while. Anyway, how's everybody? I got some things going on around here. This is the uh, new elf sun touchable woe glow broad spectrum SPF and primer. I figured I'd try it. Oh man, smells like I should be at the swimming pool. Well, that proves the stuff is in it. Because it's the stuff. Anyway, there's that bit. Got some stuff going on around here anyhow. First up. Me and the old man is going home. We're putting the house up on the market and we are going back to the east coast where we don't get stalked literally by crazy people who think that being liberal is too weird for daytime TV and needs to be removed. And yes, I am once again doing my makeup without having two-thirds of the stuff that I had intended to use at hand. This is the ELF Camo CC Cream. I like it and I don't like it. I have to put it on middle of the fingers because if I don't put it on with the fingers the stuff is so thick it won't spread out unless I mix it with something else. Now the something else that I usually end up mixing it with is something they no longer make which really annoys me because I like both products actually and I like the other product all on its own it's just it's very lightweight really sheer and it's one of those things if you're in a heavy dose of hot it'll stay pretty much where you put it. It's not going to just sweat off and run away and all that other stuff. It's their foundation serum. And about the time they stopped making it, bunches of other companies came out with a foundation serum and I'm going Y'all, you boofed up your timing. Love Elf, though I do. Yes, you can tell it's been a little while since I did the hair. And the hair is still a little damp. So, it's laying how it's laying. That's what we got. Ugh get the guck off of the fenners. Now I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between the um, Elf Power Grip Primer and this one. This one just came in so I'm like playing with it some. I've been using the um, Camo CC for quite some time. 
I've also got the Elf Game Up Shield Me Setting Mist. It's fun because it's got a rattle. I can play with the rattle. <laughs> and yes, my little desk is kind of shaky, so every so often if I do something that causes any particular extraneous movement to the desk, y'all are going to get a ride. Need that's not it. I need I know it's in here. Where did it go? See, I told you I only have about half of my crap. Well, maybe a third of my crap. I'm just not real organized ever let's see if it got in here nope now since we're doing the moving thing I've already started decluttering more stuff more stuff The brushes have been significantly reduced. I had so many brushes that I could go several months without having to wash a brush. And it's like, you know, that's a few too many. Especially since I don't do a lot of videos. I don't do a lot of um, I don't do a lot of viewing so there's a whole lot of stuff that I don't do so I don't need to have tons to be able to get everything done. I just don't. This is one of the minis of the of putty primer that I use on my eyes. They had a reasonably large sale towards the end of the year, which lots of people do. And I decided to jump on it because on top of the sale, I still had a couple of grand in points, and I needed to use them because at the end of the year, the points all reset, even if you're at their top tier, the, point, the points all reset. So anything that I had remaining, I wanted to get some use out of before they all went away. So I did that thing. I reached out and spent some points. I did, I did. Now that I've got my eyes primed, I'm going to start picking up some stuff and see what I'm going to put where. Ooh. Quiet light. And 
there's one I picked these up they're beauty glazed and somebody said they thought they were kind of dupey for something else and I cannot for the life of me remember what it was anyway they've got a really nifty um, gradient in blues between a deep purple blue navy and then a deep blue twilight and then there's one that's a bit paler that's called sky and if I was looking at them correctly they're all mats and I'm going hmm that could be fun I haven't done anything in all mats for a while I've also got one in here that's called Royal, that's kind of in between the Twilight and the Navy. Now I just got to figure out which one I'm going to start with, huh? Let's see. I may start with the Royal, just for the heck of it. Now, they got these things, but they don't open the way you expect them to. This one opens on this side. This one opens on this side. They're trying to confuse me. And they're doing an excellent job. Now, the Royal is kind of a, another one of the purpley blues and but it's not a purple purple at least not in the pan let's see what do you think I can't wait till I get to editing with the ring light over my head and everything else all the colors on my monitor just look like <gasps> compared to what it looks like in person and it's like anyway I got rid of my brushes I got rid of anything that was basically too big for my squonky little eyes so anything, like even a blender that's just too big for my eye, because I don't have a lot of eye space because of the folds. And let's not even talk about chicken skin. Anyway, we think we have identified a property we would like to get back on the East Coast. We haven't decided yet if we're going to be necessarily in Maryland. We've got a couple there that we are looking at. And there's West Virginia and a little bit of Pennsylvania that's got some really nice smaller house on a pretty good deal. And, you know, we're, we're not entirely settled yet as to which way we're going to go for the final location, but we know the general area we're going, which is real close to where we were the, when we were living, the last time we were living on our own, completely on our own. Alyssa and Charlie are getting sicker. Charlie's almost blind. That's my son. His wife Alyssa is getting 
less and less able to get up and go places on her own and they need a whole lot more assistance for themselves and the three autistic kids. At this point, the best thing for them to do is be in their own place where they can get some assistance. Now, I don't know yet if they're going to decide to stay out here in Oregon or if they're going to go back east. Charlie is originally from pretty much right here. Um, even though he was born in Colorado. Alyssa was... Alyssa and... Kira were born in Maryland. Kira's the middle kid. The baby, well, some baby is going to be 12 in a couple of months. Um, the baby was born in Virginia. We were living in Martinsburg, West Virginia at the time, and then we went to um, Winchester to the big medical center there because Alyssa had a lot of trouble with that one. And then... From there, we moved to Florida for a while, and that just was not a good fit. So from Florida, we ended up in Oregon because there was some blood family stuff going on that Charlie wanted to be involved with and now we have his eldest child living with us and it's one of those okay Charlie brought one in Alyssa brought one in and they made one in between Not by age in between, but just betwixt the two of them. My family is a bit overstretched. And we also have in what is technically a four bedroom house we have a bunch of people because Alyssa's mom is with us right now and that's a bunch because Charlie's oldest daughter turns 21 in a few days and so we've got six adults and two kids in the house in a technically is a four bedroom that's a little crowded at this point. Luckily we have two and a half baths. Yeah, really good. 
Anyway, I'll be right back. Nobody around here wanted to see me taking care of a couple of nose hairs. Just nobody. Yes, I'm taking up any extra real estate above. So that's putting me right up against the eyebrow line. Because I don't have a lot of real estate because of the folds. I don't have a lot of real estate to begin with. Okay, let's go back to the palette. And take the same brush and stick it in this dark navy. And I do mean dark. Can't wait to get to edit so I can put the colors right. I'll put that right out here. Just to kind of darken this up a little bit. I don't want to get too crazy, but anyway. Yep, this little bitty town. I love the, t the layout of the town. I hate the shopping. There is none. It really isn't. They got a couple of grocery stores. One freestanding drugstore, um, a few boutique type places running down through the center of Main Street. But everybody else is pretty much a clone of each other. And they are all. Very conservative. And me, I'm not so conservative, in case you haven't noticed. I'm not really the conservative type. I like being not conservative. Conservative can be boring. I don't want to try and put too much on the lower with this fat brush. But I'm going to go ahead and smudge a little bit of that navy down here and clean it up a little bit as I go along because I can always fix that little bit under the eye. If I have to. So, how are y'all doing? Just checking. Just checking. How y'all doing? Doing anything special or important? Making a monkey out of anybody? Found some new makeup you want to play with? Anything. Come on, guys. Talk to me. Yeah, I know. It's not like I'm on a live stream. Or something gets spray out here not so much because it's it's not it's a, sh a, a shimmer or anything so it's not like it's gonna necessarily need to be stuck a little bit but I'm going if it doesn't come out the way I want it to and be a little bit opaque enough I may just spritz it a little to 
get its attention, you know? So far, I'm liking these. The colors are pretty. And the opacity is pretty good. And they're not really doing a lot of kick up in the pan. And they're not doing a lot of fallout, which makes me happy. Because I hate when there's too much fallout. It's just really annoying. Now this is the color called Sky. I think this is really, really pretty. just going to kind of stick to the center with this one. God only knows if I was in frame or not. I had the cotton picking palette up in front of me trying to pay attention to the mirror. got was a picture of the mirror. I'm trying to get better about that. Oh, and all the junk behind me is where I still haven't finished sorting out this room that I was supposed to be doing for um, midwinter cleanup. <laughs> Guess I'll be cleaning up even more now since I'm going to be moving. Anyway, that's going to get interesting, you know. I'm not always really fond of moving. Never have been. But we need to get this place separated out a little bit. So everybody can get what they need. They're supposed to be doing stuff like getting um, what's called a PSW, which is a personal social worker that's supposed to help with help kids with special needs get acclimated more to the outside world and make sure that they're getting everything they need and getting educated and all that stuff and have all the reasonable um, occupational therapy kind of stuff that they are going to need to be able to deal with the world as they get older. And trying to get one, even one for just one of the kids, has been a serious struggle. This little county is so tiny. And when we first were talking about coming out here, we had asked them at, in the school system, if they would be able to handle a couple of kids, both of which are pretty high up on the autism spectrum, and they said, oh sure, no problem. We deal with autistic kids all the time. Next thing we know, the school is going, we can't handle your kids. We've never had students with this severe a case of autism before. And I'm going, oh goody! That's just wonderful! 
So, yeah. We had to drop back and rethink that. We were doing a little bit better back east, but... We had reasons for making the moves. And you know how reasons work. A, I'm not going to tell you because it's none of your business. And B, they seemed good enough at the time. So here we sit. <clears throat> with a little tiny county going, we don't know what to do. And two kids that were trying to homeschool, but everybody, everybody in this house has got a handicap of some sort. Everybody. So that becomes a problem. Because none of us really have enough sustained personal energy to keep up with the kids. And they need people with sustained personal energy. A lot. A lot, a lot. So, this place is going up for sale. Which means I will have to finally clean up this mess. And at some point, in the future, you will have to get used to a different room for me to be set up in. gonna do that inner corner with that green mat but I think under the circumstances I'm gonna use a green shimmer instead because that mat is being stinky and I don't have a lighter, brighter green in this palette except for the sparkle. And I need lighter and brighter in this inner corner. Now, like usual, when I come in here and I've got myself all set up and I have no idea what I'm going to do, it sometimes looks a little chunky because I haven't really planned anything out. I haven't 
thought about it much. I get an idea and I try to do it. And whatever comes out, comes out. So, yeah, this may not be one of my better looks. We shall see. But, yeah, it definitely doesn't necessarily go with the mustard. Don't care. Now, this is a kind of an acid green, and it's just, it's really very pretty. And next to the other colors, it kind of looks like some of the iridescence in a peacock feather. That could be fun. I'm going to bring it all the way down and around. meet up on the lower. Probably going to find something a little different to put in the very corner. But that's where we are right this minute. Yeah, I know. I should have put my eyebrows on before I got started. Well, you all know about me and my eyebrows. And I don't ever do anything in the right order. You know that. It's like usually I've got my um, got my primer on, but I don't normally put my foundation on until after I'm done with all this. Things, some things just never change. Anyway, I'm going to get off here for a minute. And I'm going to finish up putting the face on for the time being. And clean this up a little bit around the edges. Hey, what do you guys think about this thing with Morphe doing a chapter 11 and closing all the stores? Okay, I get the business decision. I can understand the business decision that if you've got to shut down, you've got to shut down some stuff. But there were people that were given really short notice and or notice the minute they walked in the door on the last day the store would be open with a, by the way, this is the last day the store is open, you're out of a job, too bad, so sad, sorry, see ya. In some cases, they were given like 95 bucks worth of coupons and gift certificates for Morphe things. You'd have to look at all the articles to catch all the stuff. But I am really disappointed that Murphy, that Murphy, Morphe would do their employees dirty like that. I've been in that position where I knew that one of the people that was brought into the office was there to close us down. You don't want that. There you go. And I, I bailed out quick because you see I knew the guy's reputation. So I bailed, I told everybody else and I bailed. So, you know, it happens. Anyway, I'll be back. Alright, let's 
Let's see how I'm doing here. Mascara, eyeliner, waterline, a little bit of white to go in the inner corner. Got some eyebrows. Got some blush. Got a little highlight. Got on some burgundy lip pencil. And I put on the burgundy lip pencil because I want to try this. I have not really ever been a fan of lip plumping gloss. The first few times I ever tried it, it hurt. This is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. Can't read anything. In Champagne Glam. <clears throat> yes, I put on the lip pencil all over the lips because I'm a cheeky and I'm not going in bare. Well, it's pretty. You can taste a little bit of peppermint. It hasn't gotten overly hot yet, but it's definitely warming. Let's see if this does anything. Like I said, I've never been fond of them. So far, this one's not nearly as bad as some of the others that I've had. And some of those, they were just, they were, the uh, formula was the hot formula. And it just, oh man, tore my lips up. I hated it. It was like drinking hot sauce straight out of the jar. And, yeah, I'm not up for that. All right. Little spritz of this. Delightfully fine mister. I had to get it started, though. This is a first use. The mist is delightfully fine. It really is. Just this little pale cloud. So far, so good. I can't, really can't tell if it's doing any plumping. It's tingling a lot, but I can't tell if it's plumping. Anyway. Yep. There to look. Oh. Another bit of news. I have done another stretch on the lower hole on my earlobes. This is now up to a 6 millimeter, better known as a 2 gauge, depending on who you're talking to. I'm not touching this one. I like its little three millimeter size. It's enough as an accent. It's fine. I went larger with this one because it's six millimeter. You start being able to find things like the little um, semi-precious gemstone pieces like where they've carved a plug out of amethyst and that kind of thing and it's like anything less than a six millimeter you can't get those um so i went up to a six now i probably shouldn't have technically done it the way i done it because i took a two millimeter jump at a time i went from a four to a six 
And let me tell you, that was a bit of an owie when I first put these in. Really nifty system, though, because it was a steel um, cylinder, a steel cone. So the taper goes in, and at the end of the taper is this piece. And this piece, you unscrew the taper from the back of it, and it's all the way through to the other side, and they they give you a screw back to complete the tunnel. So you don't have to like try and chase the um, the taper with a separate. Oh, my wrist hurts. You don't have to try and chase the taper with a separate um, piece of jewelry. It all goes in as one piece and then you just unscrew the taper from the back and put the, the backer on. I spent the rest of the day that I did it and into probably like wee hours of the next day with it kind of achy. Achy. But it wasn't bad enough that I was going to take it back out and have to start again. It's like, uh, no, thank you. Um, it hasn't hurt at all since it got past the initial achy bit. So, anyone else who wants to do this, I am going to tell you straight up. Do not push any farther than you can tolerate when you're doing this. If you try to go too fast, you can blow your ear out, even at small sizes. Because if you try to take too big of a jump, it's going to tear the flesh. And once you tear the flesh, it can tear from here all the way out really fast. If you want to try stretching your ears, do it, but do it safely, a little at a time. It's like, when I started doing this, I kept these within a millimeter of each other because I'd take the, you know, like, I'd get the first, like, bit in because I started out with the quote-unquote 18 gauge, which is standard piercing stuff in both ears. And I put the next largest one in here. Got this one stretched. And then I moved this one down to here and brought this one up and I put the smaller one I kept the smaller one here and the larger one went here and I kept rotating through them until I got up to a four and a three and then when I got to the four, I'm going, oh, this is cool. And I started doing all those earrings, taking the, the little pieces like this, only in acrylic, and attaching them to the back of the earrings so I could still wear some of my funky earrings. And then I decided I wanted to go for the six, so instead of going five, I just went straight to six. It hurt. It was not entirely pleasant. No. Anyway. I saw several people with these um, palettes. I cannot. It's like I know I saw Nikki Raven. And I know I saw Cat Blue. With these palettes. I think 
both of them, one of them may have gotten a version of it from um, Beauty Bay as opposed to um, this thing. Whatever that, what's the Beauty Glazed. And I think one of them has, has got a Beauty Glazed like I've got. Um, I think they're pretty cool. Now, with the Beauty Glazed, you can pick those up off of Amazon if you're not morally opposed to Amazon. I'm technically morally opposed to Amazon. My problem is currently living out in the sticks. That's about it. It's a 45 minute drive and I have a dead car, not a working car, a dead car. It's a 45 minute drive to the nearest Walmart. Yes, I know, I've told this story a hundred times. You're probably tired of hearing about it. Anyway, there you go, you get it one more time. Because the places we're looking at to move to, there are Walmarts a whole lot closer. And they have public transport, if necessary. Anyway. Back to the East Coast. Stretched ears to a new size. I'll have to keep you updated on the Back to the East Coast thing. Because I haven't sold the house yet, so... Anyway, we're hoping for a pretty fair return on the house, which would be nice. And we're off. Stay out of trouble. I do not have bail money, and I'm not giving up any of the proceeds from the house. All right? All right. Be nice to somebody for no good reason. Just because. Be nice to yourself for the same thing. No good reason other than you want somebody to be nice to you and you might as well do it yourself. That way you guarantee it happens. Bye! Oh yeah. If you need to, if your area's gotten a bunch of COVID or RSV or the flu or whatever, wear your mask. Just don't argue. Just do it. Okay? Okay.